In this episode, we go rave it out in the Ukraine with supermodels, their mafia boyfriends, and they're all fucking like rabbits. The first time I heard about Kazantip was about one year ago. A friend of mine just came back from one of these backpacking trips through Eastern Europe and told me how he ended up in a massive rave in an abandoned nuclear reactor somewhere in the Black Sea. The place was packed with hot girls, boats, champagne and mafia. And since I'm all for debauchery, I decided to go there myself and check it out. So I managed to get in touch with one of the organizers, Sergei, who lives in Germany. He helps us organizing our trip and we leave from Berlin with Pella from Weiss Scandinavia and Kira from Weiss Germany. Gazantip is the actual name of the rave. It changes locations almost every year. This year, it's been held in Crimea, an autonomous republic of the Ukraine. They've taken the whole beach of Popovka, an ex-military town in the Black Sea. So we fly from Berlin to Frankfurt and from there straight to Simferopol, the closest airport to Popovka. We're shitting our pants, but whatever, the dream of a warm, sandy beach and indiscriminate sex is more powerful than any thought of death, so we get inside and let the alcohol do the rest. The first thing we notice when we get to the airport of Simferopol is that it's full of private jets and security. Kazantip, over the years, has become the official playground for the Russian Mafia that progressively abandoned their typical hangouts in the Black Sea to spend weeks in Kazantip, getting drunk out of their faces and having sex with underage girls. We finally meet Sergei, who is waiting for us at the airport. We are right now in Simferopol airport. We go to Popovka, there is situated Mitten in nowhere. And there is a Republic Kazantip, and Popovka is the capital of our Republic. How long have you been raving now? Uh, two months, and it's very difficult to work here, but I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm Minister of Foreign Affairs, it's my job. Kazantip is the way of life. You will understand it tomorrow or after tomorrow. You have no way. Okay. You could not understand it. I like this country, and I love these people here. Maybe they earn sometimes not much money, but they are all times hungry to success, to get sex, of course. That's good. Both of them, and um, we are very lucky. So who are the people coming here? Is it mostly people from the Ukraine? Yes, from Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kiev, Odessa, and Donetsk. This year, Kazantip, during six weeks, we have about 80,000 citizens. Okay, welcome to Popovka, the capital of Republic Kazantip, and uh, I'm going to show you another part of our event. On the left side of me you can see Babylon Tower. This is the main dance floor of our republic. They play very good DJs. On the right side you can see Sheet Palace and you can do there your own business, you know? Sheet and not to sheet. Till Kassantib. Det här är det största rivet i Östeuropa. Här rivar man i en månad. Vi är här till slutfesten. Estamos en el Mar Negro, en Crimea, y esto es como Ibiza a principios de los 90, pero en plan nuclear. Ah, joder. Uh. Como veis, el panorama es bastante apetecible. Kazantip emerges from the early 90s dance music culture and the few privileged kids who flew to Ibiza and wanted to have something similar in their countries. The place is totally out of time. I mean, it's somewhere stuck in the 90s and it's cliches of pink dreadlocks and angel wings and platform shoes and energy drinks. Still, it feels very different. It's the absence of pretension and masquerade. It's a genuine celebration of the basic human instincts. This is fucking amazing. Like, the girls are two meter vixens walking around naked, showing their tits and their asses, pouring fucking champagne over their tits. And they come to you and they're like, oh, you wanna fuck or let's go to my hotel room. It's like everybody's, everybody wants to fuck all the time here. It's just amazing. Hi. 
What are you doing? Отдыхаю. To keep it cold. Huh? To keep it cold. What's the thing you like the most about the festival? First of all, is freedom. The second part is uh, best DJs from Russia comes here. How long have you been here? Uh, it's the end of the second week, but it's my fourth time, I guess. My name is Alina. I'm from Moscow, yeah. yeah. What am I doing here? <laughs> what everybody is doing here? Having happiness. Isn't it just clear why I am here? Because this is my life and uh, this is tradition. The most very beautiful people, very crazy people. I love Kazantip. Welcome to our Republic, Republic of Luck. Okay, so to make the long story short, this is Kazantip, it's a fucking rave, the biggest one in Eastern Europe. It goes on for a month. We're in the Black Sea and uh, it's full of women, beautiful. The place is almost entirely 100% drug free. Nobody we ask to knows about drugs or wants to know about drugs. This who want to get drunk and sex becomes the most natural thing in the world. You walk around the beach in broad daylight and you'll see couples having sex in the sand while some others are dancing next to them or playing guitar. Can you explain where is the difference uh, to other raves like the Love Parade or like in Ibiza? Uh, because we are Republic and other places are events or a party and we are Republic. Kazantip is a, a way of life with their own rules, with their own president, ministry and own citizen. Even own uh, visas. You have to buy a visa, you will get a visa from the government to get inside. The quasi-political tenor of the festival is often explicitly silly. Kazantip is supposed to be a republic where the president, a guy called Nikita, makes the rules. Somehow a ridiculous idea, but they take it really seriously. We have our constitution and if someone broke this, he will leave politicals. This is our strong rules from Nikita. So you, do you really believe that this is a republic, right? It's the way of my life. This is what I wanted to know. What's wrong with your president? Why is he a difficult person? Because he's a president. Have you ever met a president in your life? No, I never. I met a president of a chess club once. He was a pretty complicated person. Because the president has to be a complicated person. He has to care about thousands of people. And he's busy the whole time around the, around the clock. Always busy. For now we're going to interview Nikita, which is like the president of the festival. Um, we basically the guy that came up with the idea and the concept and everything and he seems to be rather uh, untouchable like we cannot even approach him and he walks around with this fucking huge hammer military car or whatever so we're gonna talk to him about politics and sex the first thing I'd like to know is what's the secret to keep this place the way it is знаете, однажды я сел и написал Конституцию. Конституция — это правила игры, и если они правильно придуманы, то люди с удовольствием по этим правилам играют. Вот. Основные правила, ну, наверное, то, что президент преизбирает каждый год себя сам, обеспечивая тем самым преемством с демократической власти. Знаете, меня часто обвиняют в диктатуре счастья, но мне кажется, судить о людях и о структуре можно по достижению каких-то целей. Вы видите, вы где-нибудь видели такое количество счастливых людей в какой-либо стране? Вот на единицу населения мы, наверное, ну, самая счастливая страна в мире. Поэтому как это достигается, ну, наверное, не важно. Вы знаете, вот собирательный образ великого казантипского народа это очень сложная задача, потому что это огромная масса очень разных людей. Кем бы, каким бы я хотел, что бы я хотел изменить в них, мне хотелось бы, чтобы их интересовало что-нибудь еще, кроме музыки, секса и наркотиков. Мне хотелось бы, чтобы они, мне хотелось бы, чтобы они оставались всегда молодыми. Kazantip is like a hedonistic corollary to the demonstrations that swept Ukraine during the Orange Revolution in 2004 and which essentially brought Viktor Yushchenko to power. 
The agenda here, however, is freedom rather than democracy. Once there, you really think about the situation that these people have been living with. I mean, Ukraine and Russia have been trapped in communism for ages and their pseudo-liberation after the collapse of the Soviet Union has been so fucking fast that they're still trying to assimilate most of the cultural concepts. For them, it's just some sort of liberation. I mean, they could give two shits whether rapes are outdated or if hipsters wear tight pants nowadays. You just have other references and benchmarks. So I guess young people, it's pretty disappointed and they have decided to keep partying like there's no fucking tomorrow.